play and call it work. Mini Work Gaming's Old World Wars. Hey there, guys. Welcome to another episode of Old World Wars. We've got Luca here from Mini War Gaming. I brought my friend Kenny. So this is his first time on the channel. We've known each other for a while. I uh, got him into fantasy. Yeah, you did. Got him. Well, I mean, you played 40K before and fantasy before, but uh, we kind of went in the path of magic after high school. And now we're back. Well, I got back in 40K first, and then he <laughs> and all the friends got back into it well. So we figured, let's get him on the channel, play some games. We're playing fantasy, of course, for you guys. This is a 2,000 point game. It's going to be Orcs and Goblins. Versus vampire counts, and this is gonna be like a it's 2,000 points. It's gonna be a tutorial game just to get him back in the ropes. We've been playing it recently, but it's like only like online, just like kind of joke games. <laughs> we're gonna do we're gonna do battle line to keep it simple, and we're let's just go show you the armies in the table. All right, 2,000 points vampire counts. Start you out with my lords and heroes on the right. We got the vampire lord level four. Playing, playing her as a caster for this game. She's gonna have Master of the Black Cart, which is a 75 point upgrade that lets me reroll some of the, well, whatever die I choose for the Winds of Magic. And ooh, Aura of Dark Majesty, which is the, the minus one leadership aura. For magic items, Armor of Destiny and the ooh, Ogre Blade, plus two Strength Blade. No, no, sorry, Sword of Strife, plus two Attack Sword. That's what I wanted. Over here, we have a Necromancer, level two, Master of the Dead, also Lore of Vampires, they're both Lore of Vampires, sorry, as well as a Dispel Scroll. And I believe that is all he has. Now for spells, well, I gotta roll those, so I'm gonna go do that right now. My level four Vampires, Invocation, Wind of Death, Raise Dead, Von Hell's Dance Macabre, and my level two is Curse of Years, Invocate. For core, I'm gonna go with the usual, double 30 man skeleton, skeleton, full command, sword and board and two squads of 20 zombies with full command as well. On to special, I got two units of hex raids, no champions. I have a squad of three fell bats. On to rare, I got blood knights, five of them full command and the banner of swiftness. And finally a black coach, which I brought last time. I really liked him, so I'm gonna bring him again and see what he can do, especially works well with master of the black arts. Well, it works a little bit better. So it was fine last time, it should be better this time. And that's my 2,000 points of Vampire Counts. Here we have 2,000 points of Orcs and Goblins. Lots of characters, we got five of them. And, well, a lot of Goblins. All right, here we have my Savage Orc Shaman. His spell is Gaze of Mork. Uh, the magic items I brought with him was just the Lucky Shrunken Head. Next up we have... Next we have Wurzag the Great Green Prophet. <clears throat> Great Green Prophet. His, uh, <laughs> his four spells are Fist of Gork, Hand of Gork, Here We Go, and the Foot of Gork. He also gets a Vindictive Glare on a bound item. Right. Uh, next is my Savage Orc big bo or War Boss. That's yeah, a War Boss, so he's the big boy. He's the Warlord. He's got the high leadership. He is my Warlord. Uh, his magic items are Glittering Scales and the Ogre Blade. Okay, it's pretty good. Plus two strength, so it puts him at. I don't. I don't even know. I can't remember. I think strength six or seven. Pretty good in the. Uh, anyways, he's a big boy. He's got frenzy too. <laughs> we have the spider rider named hero. That is Snaggle Grob Spit, and he helps out. He makes them deaf creepers. So we have a squad of ten deaf creepers. Yeah, I do. And then over here we have the night goblin BSB. That is my night goblin big boss BSB. So yeah. Oh, I was, was going to say, Lee just recently painted this guy up. He's on a circular base just because, in case we use him for Age of Sigmar, it looks a little bit better, and he fits in the tray easily, regardless. It's beautiful. Uh, I just gave him the magic standard, the Bad Moon Banner. Just the Bad Moon Banner? All right. And that is all your heroes and lords, putting you dang near the 50% uh, cap. All right, for core, I got my 10-man squad of Death Creepus. They'll have full command. And bows. Yeah. Uh, all of them have full command, so next we got a full command Night Goblin squad with netters, uh, some fanatics, <laughs> <laughs> and same thing, a 30-man squad and a 33-man squad. A Th uh, 30-man squad has netters. And maybe some fanatics. And maybe some fanatics. Uh, then we have my Savage Orc Biggins, full command. They got their big, cho or big stabbers. Oh, okay. And, and additional hand weapons. Alrighty then. Yeah, we just don't have the model for the big stabbers, but yeah, there's big stabbers in there. For my special, I just got the two spear checkers. And uh, rare is one rock lava. And that's it. That's 2,000 points of orcs and goblins, and maybe some fanatics. And maybe some fanatics, who knows? 
Here is a simple board we're playing for Battle Line. It's a table war mat with a lot of terrain from Adam at Greenleaf. Again, thank you, Adam. This is my favorite fantasy terrain. We are playing Battle Line. We rolled off. Kenny chose this side. I will be playing on the opposite side, and I will be deploying first because I have nine drops as opposed to Kenny's six. This is what the deployment looks like afterwards. Kenny finished first, of course. Only that many drops. We got a Spear Chucka, Spear Chucka, Savage Orc Biggins, Night Goblins, and Night Goblins with the BSB. All the character, all the Savage Orc characters are in there. So we have Warzag, the War Boss, and the Level One uh, Savage Orc Shaman, and a Rock Lava. And we have the Death Creepers and the, the Forest Goblin Spider Raider character. Can't remember his name. Snagla Grabspit with his unit of Death Creepers in Ambusher, so they'll be coming out on turn two and forward, potentially. Other than that, we have Blood Knights, Hex Raids, Double Skeleton Unit, Zombie Zombies, Felbats, Black Coach. Now, for characters, my Vampire Lord is right here in the center, which is my general, of course, my Warlord. And we have a oh, Necromancer level 2 with these zombies over here. Essentially, it's going to be uh, closing the door kind of thing, trying to trap you in the corner. We'll see how that works. It might not. It might easily work. We're going to roll off now to see who gets the first turn, and Kenny will be getting plus one. Plus one for Kenny, so I'm getting a... Okay, yeah, you win! You, you do it! <laughs> there you go! So it'll be Orcs and Goblins, turn one. Do you have any charges? That's I it. have to check for animosity first. Yes, that's true. So starting where? Uh, start with the Savage Orcs. On a one. Oh, that's not bad. That's not good. Alright. <laughs> so rolling on the chart for them. Three. So that's a squabble. No movement, shooting. Well, they have to try and charge. There's no charges. So no cast and spells, moving or shooting. So that sucks. a double wizard in there. It's rough when animosity triggers. And then we have animosity on those two units. So we'll have that Night Goblin Squad, I guess. Three. And that one. They're both acting normally if you so choose. I forgot to show you my Vanguard. Just not too far forward. Just staying in general range so they can march on the start of my turn. So we have Night Goblins for movement. Uh, this right squad of 33 is going to just do a regular move. This is going to go forward four inches? Just going to go forward four inches. Alrighty. This is hard to do with the trays. I know, the double tray. Uh, <laughs> and then they can just match up with them as yeah, well. Yeah, these, these are just going to match up. Anything like that. And that's it for movement. Uh, on to magic. <laughs> so, we're, so I guess... going to store die. Yeah, so essentially, uh, Katie's going to roll 2d6 for his wins. Yes, sir. And then he's going to get... A pretty good wins actually. He's gonna get ten dice, but none of you guys can cast any spells. But Warzag's got the, the what is it? A, a gobla? No, it's uh, a squig something. It's a squiggly beast. Squiggly beast. You get to store a die, so he's gonna store one die for his next dispel, or next time he tries to dispel. Next up, we have shooting. What do you want to start with? I think I'm gonna start with this spear checker. That spear checker there. Who's he? Who's he firing at? No real good targets. I think I'm gonna hit. Ooh. Squad of zombies? <laughs> I don't know. We'll... It's color? So we thought the chariot, uh, Kenny thought the chariot was ethereal. It's not yet. It has the potential to become ethereal. It looks like a ghost. It, it is painted <laughs> like the rest of the ghosts. So we'll have one shot at the chariot. Yes, you. They hit on four base, minus one because of the long range. No, no that's just a miss. Second spear check is same thing, hitting on a five. No. <laughs> Next up, we have this catapult. It's gonna fire. We were thinking about it for a bit. It could go and try and hit some skeletons down, but I can reanimate them. It's harder to reanimate skeletons. Could try and go for a lucky scatter and take out two bats, or we could go for the long shot and just take this out in one go. I'm going for the gamble. I want that long shot. Or you just take two turns and just whittle them down over two turns with a with a catapult, your rock lava. But we have to see if it hits first, and it's gonna go. You can put it right here, so if it does scatter, it might go on a bat. So we're gonna aim right there. All right. So it's going to scatter artillery die. It's going to scatter six inches forward. So that rock is going to land right there. That's a good lob. That was... And that's going to be the very eventful Orcs and Goblins turn one. <laughs> and we're going to go on to my turn. Vampire counts. My first unit of hex rays move. Or they're ethereal, so they go through the terrain. They, would, they get within eight around here, and they're going to trigger the fanatics on that squad. They're not close enough to trigger the fanatics on that squad, though. First fanatics is going to go there. And it's going to go 2d6, which direction? Oh, uh, that way. That way, so four inches forward. So that fanatic is going to end up right there. Oop. Please stop falling. Falling over a lot. And uh, now the reason we're not putting them towards the hex rays is because they're ethereal, and this is not a magical attack. So it'll have no effect, and we might as well litter uh, the oncoming assault with fanatics. 
I'm gonna put that one there, and it's gonna go which direction? That way. This way? All right, 2d6. Okay, six. <laughs> Ending it right there. Third one, I assume going this way. He is going to go that way so he doesn't run his friends over. Yep. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Ending up like that. And then those hex rays would complete their move ending up right there. I don't know what to do with this second squad. They could, I think, like I could ideally if I wanted to just charge and like move into the fanatics and kill them off, but that's not fun, I'm not gonna do that. So the second squad is actually just gonna hold back for a bit <laughs> and be, be ready to move, uh, be ready to do something later. My blood knights here, they're down to movement, oh, well, they're up to movement eight because of the banner of swiftness counteracting the Barding. And it's gonna march forward. They're vampiric, so no problem with that. 16 inches up, it's gonna take them right there. Squad of fell bats are gonna march 20. Doing the fly thing. Chariot is gonna do chariot stuff and go forward eight. And these zombies will also move forward eight inches. Well, they'll march though. And these zombies will end up behind. Marching my skeletons four inches up. I will go with a one inch wheel and then they'll go forward three. We're gonna go forward two and wheel one more. Marching forward four. Wheeling two. Going forward. No shooting here. Or oh, sorry. I don't have shooting, but I'm gonna do magic first. Here's my wins. Five and a one. So I got Master of the Dark Arts, so I'm gonna re-roll this. Getting four. There we go. It's a pretty expensive upgrade though. Now we got some channels to do. I have two for myself on sixes, no help. And then Kenny's got two for himself on sixes. No. No, but you will get one extra die bringing you up to six because of your stored die from Rorzag. I'm not gonna let you get away with it. <laughs> no, I gotta roll my evocations. On sixes, he levels up. So he'll level up just once. So he's at his first upgrade. Plus one impact hits when he does charge. Win to death. We're gonna try, we're gonna do it on four dice. So level four plus four dice. Okay, no miscast, getting with good numbers, 17. We are at 21 altogether. So I'm gonna, Kenny's gonna let me have that one. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm actually gonna, I have to put it there. So it's gonna hit two of my own zombies, which is fine. Cause it's just, or two ranks of my guys, sorry. It'll hit two ranks of my zombies. And it's gonna go in that direction, try and phase through both ranks of goblins. It's an artillery die times three. Please don't misfire. Oh, 30 inches. Okay. So it goes, hits two ranks of my uh, zombies, of course, passes over a night goblin, and it hits all the ranks of both of them, and then goes off the board. So it's gone for the game, but it has a pretty big effect here. 2d10, strength three hits on my zombies. Not, why did I say 2d10? 2d6, strength three hits, so we got three. Wounding them on fours. It's killing two zombies. Boop and boop. 1d6 strength 3 hits on that night goblin for 5. And wound them on 4s. I don't know how many wounds they have. Uh, I, one. I'm guessing 1. So that fanatic dies. No panic checks needed for them, they're immune to psychology. 6 ranks hit on that squad of night goblins. Okay, we got 12, 17, 24. Wounding on 4s, only toughness 3. Uh. You have spears on night, or sorry, shields on night goblins, so you have a six up armor save. All right. So you save one. one. <laughs> so 13 succumb to the wind of death. That's a, that's a panicking. Uh, panic check, but they're within range of the general, so leadership nine. And they got a BSB, but they're good, they're holding. Only 66, because that last rank in the back is only four man. So. We have 9, 12, 15, 17, 21. Wounding on fours, only 21. Uh, ooh, that wasn't as good as the first one, but I won't complain because this is a pretty good spell and I didn't even miscast. That's how lucky I got. Six up saves. So two, yeah. Not quite enough to cause a panic, so you're good there. And uh, well, I have five dice left for spells. I'm going to go ahead and do a five dice big invocation from that necromancer. <laughs> he's going, to, he's got Master of the Dead, so he might be able to pull this off. I'm gonna do the 18 inch version. So I need an 18, I need a 16 on five dice. I 10, I do get it actually. Showing 20 altogether. So you just need to show a 16 and you have six dice. I will be trying to stop it. All right. 
Yeah, you do. So that's 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 24 total. No spells for me. Well, I got one spell. I'm gonna conclude my turn one. Not so bad. Got a good window death off. Got an uh, evocation level on my chariot here. Bats are in a better position. All around the undead are happy. Got blood lights flanking around the side. And we have turn two for the orcs and goblins. Animosity, where do you want to start? I'm going to start with the big boys. Okay, don't roll a one again. That's all you have to do is not roll that. <laughs> okay, we've got roll two, squabbling again. All right, Just cool. So you have to charge if you can, so that is a legal charge. Then they're going to try it. So they're going to declare a charge over there. And then those guys, their animosity. No, animosity. Uh, nope. Okay, we're good there. All right. So uh, they don't have to bother doing a frenzy so check. They... It's just moved during compulsory, right? Correct. So right. they do after the charges. Uh, frenzy doesn't. You don't need to worry about it because you are charging because he squabbled. So it's just fine. You can still cast spells and everything. Right? You're just gonna be slightly out of position. So ambushers on a three up essentially. There you go. They're coming in in the re remaining moves. So we have this charge distance. I don't know what the range is, but well, we'll find out after we roll. So you're probably in. So seven plus their movement four. That's actually just in. They were eleven inches away. So yeah, you just wheel, and then you come on in. You'd end up something like that, yeah. You go through the woods, but you, you don't have to worry about going through woods. And then I close up. Yeah. And then in remaining moves, your reinforcements come on, your death creepers, they're coming on over here to harass some blood knights, and then they can do their, they can't march, but they can do a seven inch move. All right. Seven inches takes them up right there. Forgot compulsory moves, we did remaining first, but we can easily go back and do this. Nothing over here has actually moved. So we'll start with, which one do you want to start with? That Perfect. guy there, all right. So 2d6 plus a scatter die, and he is going 11 inches that way. 11 inches puts him right there in front of the, uh, in front of the spear check. And now we have the second one. Where's he going? Uh, is he gonna go right through his boys? Let's find out. Okay, so he's gonna go and uh, yep. seven inches backwards. So he definitely pops through, ends up an inch away behind them. And then it's gonna be 1d6 strength five hits that are armor piercing. So, four. So it's just three dead guys, or four dead guys. Oh, wait, no, you have to wound them on two, sorry. Two hey. dead guys, that's not bad. No panicking. Trying to swift reform these goblins. Uh, you get to reroll because you're BSB. They're All leadership right. seven because the general's too far away. All right, they're just doing a normal reform. Ending up like that, just so I can't get your uh, rear, or your flank if I decide to charge with my hex raids. Marching them up, they've gone five inches, but the fanatics come out now. First fanatic at that corner. I'm gonna try and go in this direction to ping my uh, chariot. Seven inches. It clips him right on the corner, so you pop an inch through and end up right there. This is gonna be D6 strength five hits for four. This thing's freaking toughness six. Five to wound it. We got two. Strength five armor piercing. It's three up goes to a six up save. Two of them. Fail both, but now that he has a four up ward save. Make one fail one. Second fanatic, aim at a different angle so it it is, you're going to need an 8 to hit on this one, though. Oh, a 6. So we were aiming for there, so you're about there. Last one, and let's go straight through zombies. 7 inches. So right through them. And they're up right there. And uh, D6 strength 5 hits. Whoo! Dead zombies on 2s. Okay, only 3 <laughs> dead zombies. 1, 2. That also stops me from reanimating, because he's in the way. Magic is up now, you get 2d6 dice, or, yeah, oh, 11. You get two channels on sixes to maybe bring you up to maximum. No, my two channels? No, so it's gonna be 11 to six. All right, so you're in a kind of an awkward position because uh, direct damage is gonna only be cast in the forward arc and not in combat. Magic missiles can't be cast when you're in combat, so you only have hexes and augments. What would you like to do first? I'm gonna go with Fistigor on um, Egg. Oh, just make him real strong, all right. I'll let you have it. <laughs> you are gonna cream those bats anyways. <laughs> All right. All right, so Kenny's gonna opt to not cast any more spells because anything else is only gonna affect the bats. Those bats are dead. There's, <laughs> there's definitely no question about that. I'm not, and there's no fear check, you're immune to psychology, and uh, there's no point in risking a miscast on Warzag, right? So we're done with magic. We're gonna go right on to shooting. Warzag is of course gonna store one of his die to be used for the next magic phase. So, first up, we have Spear Chucka right up there. Definitely in half range, so it's hitting on a four. Don't roll a one. There you go. So, uh, because they're so shoddily made, that's a misfire. 
So now you roll on the stone thrower misfire chart? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, uh, it's a three. And I'll put a little token next to it. All right, so you lose a golem and it takes a wound. Well, that is the wound it takes, essentially. And usually you just flip it backwards to signify that it cannot shoot to next turn. Second bolt thrower for spear check. I mean, it can do it. It's only got three wounds. It does D3 damage, nice. so. Let's see what happens. On a four. No, nope. right. it's also a miss. <laughs> Rock lob, where do you want it? In the back, in the front, in the middle? Uh, back. Back? Right, right there, okay. So, uh, let's see what happens. And it's gonna scatter, and oh, it's gonna misfire. So, don't st 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 throw a misfire chart. <laughs> Go works the goblins. Two, same thing, you can't fire this turn, <laughs> next turn, and you take a wound. Uh, one of the goblins got caught in the contraption and got flung somewhere. Meanwhile, the machine broke. D3 impact hits. For three, okay. And these are strength five. We're gonna, which one do you want to say is going to do it? Uh, which one of these? We'll say the BS, or I guess... Standard bear, yeah. Well, I guess the standard bear can't technically be the big stab. It has to be a separate model. Uh, what we're going to do here is take away that big stabba and give you two more savage orcs because... I, I knew what Kenny wanted to do for his list, and this is on me. I forgot that, like, oh, he had three characters in the front, right? So we'll say that this model is the big stabba, or the two models for a big stabba for savage orcs. Anyways, you'd have the full command, and then you'd have, like, the big stabbas on the side. You got three characters in there, which is pushing back the musician, and the big stabbas can't replace any of the other command. So the big stabbas would be pointless with that many characters in the unit. So instead of having the big stabbas, we're going to give extra savage orcs. To equal up the points. The war boss here has the highest initiative at four. He's got four attacks base, plus one for frenzy, so five. And he's hitting on threes. And he's got the ogre blade, so he's got two misses. And he'll be wounding on twos because he's strength, I think, he's strength six, correct? So he's two plus... Five base plus two. Oh, five base plus two for seven. And then plus eight for choppas. So plus one for his strength eight, wounding on twos. Okay, it's three wounds. One's dead and one takes a wound. I have four attacks back. They're going to go into the unit because I'm not going to try and wound any of your characters. Hitting on fours. Two hits. And these are wounding on fives because I'm only strength three. We got one, but you have a five up paint save because your level one shaman has the lucky shrunken head. Yeah, he does. So it'll be one five up paint save. No, I do kill one of your new free orcs. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and remove these <laughs> because there is literally no purpose in trying to see if they'll survive. They have no save against that many attacks. He's got Fist of Gork on. There's no point. And you took him out. In your frenzy, you have to overrun. Nine, nine inches. That's all. Nine inches and 100% takes him off the board, which is good in a defensive way. Um, <laughs> and you, you do skip the animosity step next turn. So that's great. Though you'll have no defense against my casting, so I'll have a free, uh, free reign casting next turn, which is not good. Oh. And that's going to conclude Orcs and Goblins turn two. We're going to go on to Vampire Counts turn two. So we have this hot garbage of triangulation. Uh, we do have some charges I should probably do. We are going to go ahead with... Oh, you know what? You forgot to shoot my guys. We're going to go ahead and go back and do that. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna fire. Are you gonna use your one-time use? I'm gonna throw the, the what is it? Fangs. Sting of Snagla. The sting of Snagla. So he's got a little dagger he chucks. He's gonna throw it at them. So definitely in half range, uh, except you moved. So you're hitting on a five. I got this. A six. No. Okay. So one time you said it, right. it misses. And then we're looking at ten bow shots. That should only be nine. The third rank can't fire. We're so nine bow shots. You moved. So you're hitting on fives because you're in half. One, two, ah, that's pretty good, jeez. Toughness four on my little vampire boys. Suffice to wound. Please, three of them. Oh, jeez. Um, these are two up saves, but I swear each, each one is a dead vampire. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, we're good. Now back to the vampire turn. Back to the vampire. All right, we have these ghostly uh, horse spooky guys. They're going to declare a charge over here. You have a terror check to make. Leadership, I think... Five, actually. You're actually. Leadership six on normal goblins, so you're good. We're gonna have that unit of skeletons charge them. Uh, are you gonna hold or flee? I'll hold. Yeah. Their charge, uh, their sp swift stride, so they're gonna go, ooh, I think I failed. Six plus eight is only 14. Fail forward four, but looks like we're ending up an inch away and I'm gonna cr uh, crumble the combat resolution, <laughs> probably. I have this unit charging. 10? So going forward, clip, close the door, clip. 
I forgot to say the squad's gonna charge that fanatic, so they can't fail. Boop, boop. So we're just resolve that quickly. And uh, 2d6 strength 5 hits on my zombies. For three, killing them on twos. It kills off two zombies. And then I'm gonna, uh, well, end up like that. I'm not gonna bother reforming. These skeletons are moving forward, five, wheeling one, and going forward two. These hex rays are probably gonna go over here actually and try and do something against these deaf, deaf creepers? Yeah. Deaf creepers, cool man. Eight inches, takes them in this direction. And they're ghosts, so the only character that can hit them in there is, is the guy with the little knife. <laughs> yeah, but you do have com static com resolution, so banner and charges and stuff like that. It might be. They're march blocked by these stupid deaf creepers, so I have to do a leadership check, which they fail, so they're not marching. So we're gonna go wheel three, and moving forward, five. This chariot. Gonna move right about there. And then these guys. And you gotta drop the fanatic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put them there. And uh, I'm gonna swift reform them. Leadership. Well, 10 because of the vampire lord. And then they're gonna walk into the fanatic. And there's gonna be 2d6 strength 5 hits for 5. 2 to kill zombies. Okay. Only three zombies die. That does take that rank out though. Okay, um, that's it for movement. And I'm gonna go on to magic. Here's my wins. Six and a two. I will reroll the two with my, okay, getting a one. Well, that sucks. So, so far the upgrades only net me two dice because I got three last time. So we're at seven, that's six, seven. And I do have two channels oh, on sixes. My friend Kenny here has zero channels because they're off the board. <laughs> And I'm gonna roll these for the evocations on that thing to see if it gets any, oh, oh, nope, that is, I wish. See if it gets any upgrades. It gets, oh, just one. So it's at level two. Because of the store die, it's seven to seven. You must add it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cast some spells, I suppose. My Vampire Lord at level four is gonna raise dead. And we're gonna raise, hmm. Let's bring, we'll bring, we'll bring skeletons into the fold. We're gonna try and do this on four dice. I need a 10 plus. Oh, I do. I get it with 13. 17. So 17 all together. So you need to show a hard 17 because you have no bonus. This is gonna raise 2d6 plus three skeletons anywhere within 18 inches of her. And if you are gonna try and stop it, all right. I'm gonna stop it on five. Well, you're gonna try to. I'm gonna stop it on five. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Woo. Well, we're, gonna we're, get it. We're, gonna, we're gonna go with an invocate at, I think 12 inches. And invocate at 12 inches on three dice, so I need to show an eight on three, please. I do. Okay, that's, that's a pretty good roll. 11, 12, 13, 14 plus three. I'll plus try four. for double sixes. Double sixes? Cool. Close, halfway there. So that does go off. It's not gonna have any effect on the skeletons, but it will heal this back up to full. And we're gonna get 2d6 plus four zombies over here. So we'll get 11 zombies back. And then this one was in range, so it's gonna be 2d6 plus four. Four zombies. Okay, it's gonna be 11 zombies. That's it, we got more zombies. <laughs> the blocks are getting bigger. And uh, that's it, we're right on the combat and I think we only have the one, right? Just that one over here, so you owe me, you know what, I'll let you throw a net first. On a two up, I'm lower strength. Okay, good, so your netter throws a net all over me, but you owe me a fear check. Fear check. At minus one leadership, so leadership four. Okay, reroll because the BSB. <laughs> And you're afraid, you're, you're scared. You're down to weapon skill, but skill one. My vampire goes first. Are you gonna issue any challenges? You have a champion? I I, I got a champion. Yeah? Full no. command, right? No, no challenge, all right. I have seven attacks with my vampire. You know what, I'm gonna issue challenges with my skeleton champion. So I'll do that after. My vampire's got seven attacks, because it's sort of strife. Threes to hit, no rerolls. Oh, jeez. And strength five, so twos. Kills off. Are these spears? Or they're spears, right? Spears and shield, yeah. Okay, so it just kills two of them off. It would have actually been threes to wound because I'm down to strength four on my vampire, but I rolled a three and a four. We are gonna go on to your guys. We have a challenge, so you have two attacks into my challenge because I'm only initiative two. 
So Kenny accepts. He just wanted to clarify that. He accepts the challenge. And uh, you have two attacks into my skeleton champion. And uh, weapon skill one. Yeah, fives to hit me. There's a hit. Wounding on a four. <gasps> no. Ah. And then I'll swing back with my champion. He's got two attacks. Might as well get it done over with. Threes to hit. Uh, wounding on a five, though, because I'm strength two. No. So our, we do nothing to each other. So 11 attacks back. Or 12 attacks, sorry. Hitting on fives because Web skill one. Wounding on fours. We got one. I have heavy ar oh, sorry, light armor shield, so five up. And I can parry this on a six. No, I don't. I lose a skeleton. Sorry. I only have eight skeletons attacking back, so we're hitting on threes because I'm Web skill two, tier one. And wounding on fives because I'm strength two. We got two. You have two six up saves. Two six ups. Two more die. Two more parries? No, we have to have sword and shield for parry. So those two go down. And then we have to calculate combat resolution. So we'll do it over here. I have charged. I have a banner. I've killed four little guys. And I've got three ranks. Now on your end, you have a banner. You have killed a dude. And you have one rank. So I win combat by six. So your leadership down to, you need double ones to stay essentially. Double ones, reroll cause you got a BSB. Haha, -ha, no, they run. I will, I'm gonna opt to not chase and I will reform. So you're gonna run, I capture your banner. me, And you're gonna run 2d6 inches away. So 10 inches of that away. Ending up like that. And I have to decide if I want to, oh I have to test the restraint, sorry. I restrain, leadership 10 on the vampire, and I'm going to reform. We're going to end up like that, just to reform. Going to conclude vampire counts turn two. We're going to move on to the top of turn three for the orcs and goblins. Got to worry about those guys, the death creepers. On to the orcs and goblins, we have an animosity and an animosity. So over there, they're fine. And the animosity, so on a one bat, you don't want a one, you don't want another one. <laughs> Why are we even playing this game? <laughs> Never mind, a one is just, well I mean a one is get him. If there was another unit nearby, they would have fought each other and then they would have done anything. But there's not, so they're going to squabble instead. And they're going to, well they have to declare charge. I think I'll charge. Oh, this is rough. Blood Knights in the back? Or I, I'm going to take the Blood Knights in the back. Blood Knights in the back, alright, well that's the charge there. And then they didn't fail their animosity, are they going to charge as well? Yeah. So they're charging as well, and then that's it for charges. So, can't fail this one. So they go right into the back. This one here. We'll wheel like that. Close the door. Trying to get you, see if I can maximize foreign, and I do. And that goes back there. Charge on there, charge on there. We have compulsory, so we have to rally those guys on their leadership five. Uh, you have a BSB nearby, so you get to reroll. Alright. No, is they run 2d6 forward? They're gonna pop through that unit and run off the board, so they're dead. And they're gonna cause a panic check on your catapult. They're fine. They can't shoot this turn anyways, but... And now we have fanatics to do. So the first fanatic... He's dead, he rolled doubles. <laughs> Second fanatic... Hey, come on, hit the... <laughs> he, he rolled doubles, he's dead, all right. All the fan oh no, there's still one more fanatic. I forgot about this one. Uh, don't worry, he's you're gonna he's roll on doubles. His way out. He's on his way out. Oh, ooh, ooh 11 inches. That way. So 11 inches, boop, takes you way over there. But you do hit the zombies, so it's gonna be D6 strength five hits on the zombies. For four. Kill him on twos, let's see that one. Yeah, no, there they are. <laughs> Kill us. <some. laughs> oh boy, am I ready for game two. Compulsory is done, on to remaining, so they're gonna march on. So they actually come back forward, because you have to put that last rank there, and then that's where they march in from. And then you can just do a normal move. And you have right there, but at least you get magics this time. <laughs> no animosity for them. Uh, and that's where we're at, we're right on to magic. So 2d6. Whoo, maximum dice. All right, well, I'm gonna try and channel, might as well. So far it's six to 12. All right, so six to 12. So Warzag is gonna open up with a foot of Gork, and it's, uh, yeah, probably going after him. And, well, yeah, four dicing it, need an 11. That is 11. So we have 10, 13, so we have 17 altogether. And I only have six dice. I will, I'm gonna dispel scroll that one. Oh, Vindictive Glare. Oh, the big version, 10 plus. 
3d6? 2d6. I only need... Oh, yeah, you're, you're only use 2d6. Yeah, it's 3d6 for the big version, though. I mean, if you get it, it's 3d6 yeah. damage. Where am I going to aim that? Ooh. I mean... I could pound those skeletons with the... Or zombies with the... Yeah, answer. you're only wounding him on sixes, but otherwise you're only hitting really zombies and skeletons. It's up to you. So he's an arc. He's going to be shooting... Sorry, shooting them with this, so you need to show a six. What you do, it's gonna be 3d6 strength. Sorry, I got the hiccups. 3d3 strength, three hits. Yeah, I'll let that one go off. I mean, they're zombies. They're supposed to be uh, expendable. Seven, eh? All right. So, these are zombies that are dead on four. So we have one, two, three, four. Four dead zombies. Cool. We're going to have four dice Wars Eggs Revenge, which is a hex. We're going to be targeting that wizard, I assume, right? 100%. Okay, yep, that's my Vampire Lord. No, oh, you miscast it! No, I can't stop it. <laughs> but so is everything within 12? They're both in 12. He's in 10. That one's just in 12. Um, on a 1 to 5, nothing happens. On a 6, remove from play. Ah, uh, no! Okay, whoo! <laughs> I wasn't ready. That was scary. Okay, on a 6, he's dead. Oh my gosh! Squiggly Beast! You get a Squiggly Beast, and I lose my Master of the Dead Necromancer. Two dice left. Uh, we have to do miscast now. 2d6. Oh, so we got a... Uh, oh, that's not good. Yeah, okay. So let me explain what that does. That's <laughs> going to be a large blast strength 10 over the unit. <laughs> and if after that, on a 1, 2, 3, he goes in the warp and gets removed from play. On a 4, 5, 6, he's fine. But you do have his magic staff. Yeah, Urzak's going to shake his magic stick. Uh, make the bad stuff go away. <laughs> make the bad stuff leave. Hey. hey and eight's not bad. So that is going to be every wizard that can channel, essentially, he takes a d6, or a strength 6 hit. So we'll start with Warzag, wounding him out of 2. Unless he's T5, that's a wound anyway, so he's got a 5-up war paint save. Uh, 5-up? Uh, 4-up? Four 4-up, four that's right, because he's got the improved paint. <laughs> no one makes war paint like Warzag makes war paint. Good old Warzag. And then you have your uh, level 1 on up. But that's a wound, you're also going to take my skeletons out. But he's got a... He's, he's also got a war paint save. He's fine too because he's got the lucky shrunken head. And then we lose d6 dice from your pool. Please so you only have two left. Okay, no. you lose both of them. On the shooting, we're gonna flip those two war machines around. They're not shooting this turn, but they will fire next turn. And then we have uh, one shot from that thing up there, that, that spear chucker. Can we do three misfires in a row? Let's find it. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, don't roll the one. That's all you have to do. Not roll the one. Hey, it hits too. Okay, so strength six is wounding it on a four. That's a wound. No armor saves against this, so I only get a 4 board save. Huh. We don't make it. D3 damage. <gasps> For two. It's got two wounds left. Well, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Over here, we're going to throw some nets on my <laughs> hex rays. On a... Yep. So, there's <laughs> strength two now. And uh, we're, we're, you owe me a fear check. Technically a terror, terror check, but... I don't appreciate this. Your leadership five. With a strong reroll. That's a six. Your leadership seven on your BSB, you're good. I forgot he's in the unit. Oh, you're not even afraid of me. So you can't hurt me, so I'm gonna swing back and see if I can do anything to you. I only have three that can possibly attack, and we're hitting on fours. Oh, we got one hit. Oh boy, static combat resolution, why? Uh, um, strength four, but they have a great weapon up to strength, no, strength two up to strength four because of their great weapon. Mm, yeah. Oh, that is a wound with no save, so it kills one guy off. And they have three horsies that are going to attack. Force to hit. And I believe five to wound. Nope, no wound. Just because they're lower strength. And that is literally everything. So for combat resolution, we'll just do your end because that's the better one. You charged. You've got three ranks. You've got a banner. And you've got a second banner. Uh, for myself, I've done a wound. <sighs> that's crumbling five. We're just going to... We're going to take them away. Do you want to reform or overrun? I'd suggest reform. I'll take a reform, yeah. Yeah. Ending up like that, all they had to do was make an eight-inch charge with swift stride and get into that. Instead, that got into them. Um, we have this combat, and you owe me a fear check. I owe you a fear check. Fear check first, leadership seven. You're scared. I don't. You have to check if you're within twelve to reroll. You cause fear the turn you charge. Just remember that, so you are not subject to fear. There you go. Anyways, and uh, I'm immune, I'm undead. I'm immune to psychology. I also cause fear, so no need for that. Uh, I have to issue or accept challenges with my Castellan. It's your turn. You get priority to issue a challenge. So are you going? Are you going to issue a challenge with anyone? I think I will issue a challenge with 
Snickrot. All right, my Castellan right here has to accept it. So it's gonna be Castellan versus Snickrot. So my Castellan will swing first at a higher initiative against <laughs> your little special character here. And I do mean special, <laughs> he is interesting. Let's see what we got. We're hitting on threes, because I'm a higher web skill. Three hits. I'm strength five, so I think I'm wounding on maybe fours. Or threes, I mean, we'll see. Ooh, definitely not the one. Only one wound, he's only tough as four. I forgot my frenzy attack, which is a miss. So we have one attack against Gobspit, and what's his armor save? It's just gonna be one wound. I go through your armor save. And then I'll do my, well, I guess, three, six. Oh, you can put it in the back, it's fine. Okay. We'll remember he's got one wound. The 12 attacks, they have three attacks each because of Frenzy. Threes to hit. Oh, no rerolls. Nothing like that. And strength five. And these guys are only toughness three, so twos to wound. And that sh um, <laughs> That's seven dead. That's six. And then we'll take one extra guy. Nope. And now you get to retaliate with your spiders at initiative four. I'll start with the challenge. Sure. Threes for Snaggler, though. Okay, so Snaggler's weapon skill is... No, the spider is weapon skill four, right? No, Snaggler's weapon skill four. Spider's weapon skill three. He's initiative four as well. Oh, okay, so yeah, I'll do Snaggler into the challenge. He'll be hitting on fours because I'm weapon skill five. So one hit. And uh, strength is four? But you needed a, it's got multiple wounds, but you needed a five to wound me. He does have devastating charge, so that one extra attack, which is a miss. And then we have the four spider, well, one spider into the challenge from Snagla. So the spider into the challenge with devastating charge, two attacks, one poison. This is a miss though. Wait, oh, what skill three on spider, right? Three. Okay, that is a hit. So the poison is on an automatic wound. This is wounding on a five. Strength three, oh geez, this is strength three, correct? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Two up saves. These are, oh man, this is my Castellan. Okay, he's fine. Now the spider's attacking into the unit. This is with devastating charge. We have four hits, and these are wounding on fives. Nothing. And then we have the three riders with their devastating charge at strength four. Three, I think Snagger. Hitting on fives, because you're only web skill two. Oh, it doesn't matter, you roll ones, twos, and threes. And because of Devastating Charge, your Strength 4. Or because of Spear and Charge, your Strength 4. The 4 fails, but this does not. So that's actually a 3-up save. We're good. My Nightmare into the Challenge from my Castellan. One hit. And he is Strength 3, so 4 to wound. No, I mean 5 to wound. No wound. And then we have 8 more attacks because of the Frenzy. Hitting on 4s with the Nightmares. We have... Some hits, and we were looking for some wounds. So we have two. Um, they just have two five up saves because you have light armor and you're mounted. This is on the unit. They all have shields. Yeah, sorry, yeah, like, I meant shield, not light armor. Make one fail when so one more goes down. Okay, so for combat resolution, uh, the thing here that sucks is the fact that I have frenzy, so I have to chase it even though I normally wouldn't want to. Anyways, for combo resolution, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that's not so bad. So I've done eight to you, and I have a banner. And now, in, oh, and I did one more because of the wound in the challenge. Now back, you have a charge in my rear with a banner. So I do win by six, which still brings you down to double one to stay. Nope, you're gonna break, and I have to chase. So you're rolling three d six. Oh. One more. You're going seven, and I'm catching you with an eight or a nine. Oh, sorry. There you go. I'm catching with a nine. Rip. Ending up over there, which is the opposite of where I want them. I would love if they were over here. That is obviously not going to be happening in this game. So I brought Blood Knights to simply kill Death Creepers. That is going to be the end of turn three. The top of turn three for the Orcs and Goblins. I'm going to move on to Vampire Counts. Turn three. Okay, I don't think I actually have any... Like, I would like to charge him in there, but... Now is not the right time for such crazy acts of... Foolishness. So... We have no charges to do, and I don't think I have any... They don't have to worry about Frenzy, nothing they can charge. So we're going to go on to remaining moves. Swift reform on the knights. Oh, They're just reforming. They're even slower. We have Hex Rays ending up over there. So, marching them forward, ending up about there. This chariot is going to move there. That's a dumb spot. We're gonna go like that. There we go. I'm gonna get 
Trader's going to move there instead. Wheeling one. I'm going forward seven inches. Not quite getting me to where I want to be. Swift reform on the skeletons. Well, the leadership 10 because of the vampire's leadership 10. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just fail. I'm going to go forward. Swift reforming. Actually, I don't need a swift reform. I'm just going to go forward to about right there. Staying an inch away from that fanatic and an inch away from my zombies. That's it for movement. We're going to go on to magic because I got nothing else to do. And I'll keep the 10. The 10's pretty good. I'm not going to bother rerolling a 4. I have one channel. Nope. And then you have two. You have help, so it's going to be 10 to 7. Evocations for the, bla the black coach. Looking for sixes. Getting two. He levels up twice this time. He is at four. That's not ethereal, is it? Going to start with the Von Hell's Dance. We are going to do the 12 inch bubble version on five dice. We do get it, barely. So eight, nine, 10, 13 for a total of 17. And this is going to, everything within 12 gets uh, re rolling hits and gets, an eight, and gets to make an eight inch move. Gonna try and stop it on four? Yep. All right. Ooh, I think you do 11, 15, 16, 17. What did I get? Eight, nine, 10, plus 13. Stop it exactly. 21? Yeah. Oh, no, 21. Pfft, what am I talking about? We stop it easily. Gonna raise dead. We're gonna go for zombies. Gonna five dice it. I get it. With 15, 16, 17, 24 altogether. Not gonna try and stop it. He's just gonna store two dice because he got that squiggly beast now. And uh, gonna spawn some zombies. 2d6 plus three zombies for seven. So this heals a wound up to three. If I charge and then the fanatic runs through your squad of zombies. Raising like that, just because I was in a precarious situation and I'm a jerk. <laughs> that is literally my turn and I'm done. Animosity. We got animosity, so start of turn four. <gasps> no, and then maybe, nope. And that's actually it because the other guys are, they have ran away. Charge there, I hold. And then charge here. Obviously. I also hold. Ending up just like that. And then we have compulsory right there. Oh yeah. And he's going seven inches ooh, through those uh, zombies here. So that's an easy pop through ending up about there. And D6 rank five hits for two. Wounding them on twos. Don't roll double ones like you. Okay, it does kill two off. Nice. Boop. Boop. Right on to magic, and then you get 2d6, you get two channels, four is pretty bad, and then you get two extra dice, so it's going to be six to my two, but I have my one channel. Nope, six to two, and I don't have a scroll. All right, what are you doing first, Kenny? I'm going to three dice, where's Eggs Revenge? All right, so everything within, every cast within 12 is going to uh, have a I got a two dice, where's Eggs Revenge? All right, what is the cast on? Eight. Okay, so four, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so stupid. <laughs> I can't afford to let this go off. I'm gonna try and stop it. I only have two dice. Oh, yeah, I do. Ah, I stop it. All right. Brutal. Okay, good. All right, good. That's uh, <laughs> stupid. I, I, know I would start crumbling every turn. That's a, I think, near 500 point character. Who dies on the six. Uh, no, probably wouldn't have died, but still can't take that risk. We're we doing the Bigfoot of Gork. Bigfoot of Gork. All right, 14, 10, 30. Oh, there you go. You got it. So we're putting that foot of Gork right on this guy. And uh, I believe it scatters now. So it's pretty much a chariot one, so it's going to be fitting it quite nicely. Scattering this template D6 inches. Three inches off, it'll still probably be hitting. So it lands about there, it does miss. Now we roll on the chart because this is the big version. What happens on a three? Uh, he gets bored and leaves. Okay, bye bye Gork. Shooting time. Into my chariot, alright. Into your chariot. Hitting on a four. Oh, that's a hit. We got on a four. Okay, no, nope, nope, nope. Second one? Round two. All right, let's try it again. That's a hit, wounding on a four. Come on. Oh, yes. that's not good. Four up board save, could just die off this. No, D3 damage, is it dead? D3 it? Oh. Two, he's got one wound left. Rock Lava, gonna go right there? Uh, Up here more. Up here more, okay. There you go. Bam, right there. Here's the scatter. Direct hit, hits it directly, wounds it on a two. Strength like nine. That's a wound. No armor save. Here's 50-50 dead. Huh. Oh, it lives! It lives. It's got one wound left. All right, onto this combat first. Throwing some nets on me for sure. I'm down to strength two. You owe me a fear check. Leadership seven. You're failing, but you BSB. do have a BSB. You're good. 
We got the Night Goblin Big Boss first. Two hits, and he's strength four, so wounding on threes. We have two wounds, which go through my light armor. I have my shield, so six up. Make neither, and we have a parry, six up. We'll make one, so I do lose a skeleton. Ten attacks from the Night Goblins, because of the champion. Threes to hit, better weapon skill. This is gonna be forced to wound. We got one, which is gonna be a, uh, a fail of a save, and we're gonna have a six up parry. Which we also don't make, so it's gonna kill off a guy. And then I will retaliate. 11 attacks all into the unit, just because I don't feel like wounding your big boss on sixes. Five, force to hit, because I'm strength two, fives to wound. We have a two, which we have a light armor save, or shield save, I should say. Six up. I kill two. And that is literally it for combo resolution. So, on to the combo resolution. Uh, we have, you charged, you got a banner, you got another banner, and you've done two wounds with three ranks. Now for myself, I've got three ranks, I've done two wounds, I've got a banner. So you win by two because, well, you got the big banner and the charge, so I crumble two more. And this combat will go on for quite a while. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these guys. And uh, because you go first, I always, I've always strikes last. It's mostly uh, a big distraction, you know, decoy zombies. Because they have friends that you have to overrun. Eight inches, yeah, it's gonna bring you. Right in there. Clip there, then we close the door. All right, so they're ending up like that. I also don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna send my chariot in, mostly because that's not a good idea. Those zombies are gonna cause it to crumble to death, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. On to the bottom of turn four for the vampire counts. I have uh, <laughs> no charges to declare. Simple, simple, simple. Actually, I do. These uh, hex rays are gonna try and charge the flank of them. And I think that's it. Again, I don't wanna charge the chariot because it'll crumble to death. That's it for charges, so we're gonna roll this one out and hopefully I get more than a six. Oh, gee, uh, ooh, a nine. A nine might do it. So they're gonna end up over here. Now, normally, the Bad Moon Banner causes dangerous terrain checks for things that charge into contact, but, well, they're ethereal and they can only ever be wounded by magical elements. And, uh,. Dangerous terrain is not magical. Blood Knights, moving 16 inches. Oop. Actually, we'll go back an inch. No, we'll go forward an inch. And they are done. We're gonna have this chariot move over here. Sorry, just trying to stay an inch away from everything. Ending up there. Swift reforming the zombies. Oh, close. So we're gonna end up like that. They're gonna go forward. Not really going to be able to do much, though. Staying right where they are. Magic time. Wins! Rerolling the two with Master of the Black Arts, or Dark Arts. Oh, it's the second time getting one. I've gotten maybe one bonus die out of that 75 point upgrade. One channel. No, do you channel? Yes, so it's going to be six to six. So here's my six, and for the evocation, I need, I'm looking for a six here. I'll get none, he's not ethereal this round. I'm doing the 12 plus version for Invocation of the Heck from this vampire. Uh, looking for an eight. Miscast! I, ooh, I rolled, t I get it, but that's a really bad roll. All you have to do is beat a five, 10, 14, 18. You just have to roll a 14 on all your six dice. Or you can store it, you do it on four and store two, it's up to you. That do it on five. And store one, all store right. Store one. Then you better not fail this. 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, I think you beat Nine. it. Yeah, you just stopped it, that was a rough roll. Vampire comes without magic, this is not a good thing, guys. He's gonna start one die on Warzag, and we're gonna go into combat. Might as well start with that one over there. You owe me a fear check, leadership seven. We're good. Starting with the boss. Okay, two hits. These are the skeletons, and wounding on threes. I'm gonna have a six up, six up. So, six up armors. And six up ward with the parry. No, two more die. Oh man, that invocate. That would have been huge. Forgot to throw a net on the hex rays. Yes, well, the hex rays are netted. And then, uh, so 13 attacks forward, and then there's gonna be three force attacks sideways, but those ones are gonna whiff because they're not magical. These are into my skeletons on threes. And force. 
Good. Four wounds. I have a five up armor. Okay, making two. And a six up parry. No, two more go down. And now I retaliate. I'm going to do four attacks with the skeletons and your big boss. Hitting on... Ooh, are you up skill five or four on him? Hitting your big boss on fours. He's only up skill four. Got three hits on him. Five to wound him, though. Got two. I don't... Um, he does have light armor shield. He's got one wound left. Five attacks from the hex rays, hitting on fours. And their strength four because of the nets. Three is to wound with no save. Boop, kills off three goblins. And then the steeds have five attacks with two hits and four is to wound. No, three is to wound. So just one wound with a six up armor save because he got a shield. Okay, you just three die. Combat resolution, I have charged you in the side, and I've got a banner, and I've got three ranks, and I've done three wounds. Now you have done four to me. You've got a banner, another banner, and... Three ranks. Three ranks. So it's a tie, actually. I so have a good. musician. So do I. There we go. So nothing happens. Now for this combat, you don't have to take a fear check because you're immune to psychology. You are going to simply... Swing with my Warlord, swing, I believe. Swing at me with pretty much everything you got. Savage Orc Warboss has five attacks hitting on threes. Whew. He's winning on twos because he's strength eight. That kills off two zombies. I'll do him now. Yeah, doing the Savage Orc Shaman, the level one, separate. He's got two attacks because of Frenzy. And we got two hits. Strength three, so winning on fours. Well, oh, strength four because of Choppas, so two wounds. That does kill off two more zombies. Warzag has one, two attacks because of Frenzy. Two hits. He is also strength strength five right now, so two's doomed. Ah. Kills a zombie. Five attacks from the back rank supporting, and then plus seven for the champion and the banner out front for 12 attacks total. Hitting on threes because you're up skill four. And you are strength five with Choppas. Two's to wound here. So only five die. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's it. Oh, no, I should, I should probably swing back. I have, ten <laughs> I have 10 attacks into you, but I have to split these up awkwardly. <sighs> these two will be swinging at your shaman. Actually, I'm gonna have four swing at the shaman, and then the rest are gonna swing to the unit. Hitting on fives. Okay, apparently four hits. The toughness on the shaman is four. So, five swing. Oh. Got two wounds on him. Ooh. He's actually got two five of war pain saves, or else he might die from other zombies. He does that, he takes no damage from zombies. All right. Then I have six attacks Ooh. in the unit. I, I almost lived in a universe where zombies did something. Fives to hit, fives to wound, nothing. Okay, combat resolution. You have charge because it counts from last turn. You've got a banner. You have killed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you've got three ranks. That's about it. Now returning, I have done none of that. <laughs> I've got one rank and one banner. So I'm crumbling one, two, five, 10, 11, 12, 13. Which is unfortunately the entire unit. I was hoping one would live. Had I done two wounds to that shaman, or at least two wounds anywhere, they would have lived with one guy. But that is a crumbling. And you have to overrun. And when they go to overrun, they would clip this unit, so they treat it as a charge, they try and maximize, and they get in like that. That's going to be the bottom of turn four. We're going to the top of turn five now. This game's going on a little bit longer. Uh, somehow, Kenny's pulling it off over here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's see if you have any animosities to do. I don't actually know. Never mind. Oh. You don't even have to. So you just have literally nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do have compulsory, don't we? So it's going six, seven, yeah, six inches this way. Six inches will take him there. He's leaving. No remaining moves right onto magic. Getting pretty good dice again. You have two channels. Uh, two channels, so nine dice. Nine nope. dice. And you get one die stored, so you got ten, and I'm at five. But I do have a channel. Which helps, I'm at six. Huh? Alright, Kenny, what do you do? What are you what are you casting? I'm gonna put four dice into Warzag's Revenge. Alright, do it. Fine. Do it. I, oh gosh. The thing is, like it's it's probably not going to do anything. But the biggest issue is it could. 
The issue is that's such a good roll too. Like even six dice might not stop that. I is mean, that the, the six dice probably would stop. Can I do they... direct damage out? Yes, as long as they're in forward arc. I'm gonna do it. Whatever. Ugh. <laughs> Try and stop it. I can't risk my vampire dying. That would be literally the yeah, end of the game. It. Yeah, we get it. Okay. Ooh. Barely two, by the way. By like two. All right, two dicing Fistigork. Yeah, you guess it crazy. Get that. So is that um, plus three attacks, plus three strength? Or plus four strength, I guess, because of the uh, Plus three attacks, plus four strength, and six plus ward save. Oh, sure. Now we're going to go, here we go. Two dicing it. Beautiful. All right, you got it. Here we go. I can't stop it. I think you're just going to store those last two dice. Just going to store these last two dice. He has one wound. He's only got one wound left. It's not ethereal either. That's the issue. These guys... <laughs> one inch away. Yep. They better not miss fire is all I'm saying. Don't roll the one then. No, oh, it's a miss though. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> the, the other one. Same idea. Huh? Okay. We have a catapult. Yeah, I'm gonna rock a lot on that bad boy. Putting Should it right in the middle on top of his head. Let's see where this goes. <sighs> Direct hit. Wounds him on a two. It wounds him on a freaking two. Oh, he's 50-50 again. He's dead. Oh, I'm gonna re-roll that one. That's pretty bad. I <laughs> <laughs> he dies. On to this combat. We're going to go ahead with the Warlord, I suppose. Yeah, it's five attacks. I haven't lost combat yet. Hitting on threes and then wounding on twos. Okay, kills three off. Next, we're going to... Two attacks from Morzag. Five attacks from All Morzag. right, because he's got... Ugh. Oh, man. Actually, you get to reroll two attacks from your Warlord because you have your Rego oh, on. yeah. Uh, I accidentally rolled one too many. Okay. They were all hits. Two extra hits. So, those are winning on twos. So, one, one more dead one. zombie, and then we're going to kill them on uh, twos. Strength yeah. plus four, right? So, so five more zombies are dead. One, two, three. That's so bad. 11 attacks from the Savage Orc Biggins. Hitting on threes, re-rolling because of, here we go, only one. And these are going to be winning on twos because of Choppas. Here's strength five, so... Dead zombies. Oh wow, that's a lot of ones. Still kills a good enough, good amount also. Three, seven. Returning my attacks, two attacks in a Warzag, I have to. Nope. And then eight attacks into the unit. Uh, two hits. Fives, nope, nothing. That is the unit crumbling. There's no need to even calculate that one. And then you run forward 2d6 inches with Frenzy. Hey, five yes. inches. <laughs> so here. Five inches is gonna take them right there. I'm gonna deal with these stupid orcs. Onto this combo, we have a net onto the hex rays. Yep. So they're not just uh, strength two again. And you have your big boss swinging at skeletons. So three attacks, hitting on threes. All oh, right, you owe me a fear check, sorry. Leadership. <gasps> You're good. So yeah, <laughs> three attacks into my skeletons. Uh, one, one hit, winning on a three. And I, <laughs> okay. 13 attacks forward and the four sideways just automatically fail. Okay, we are hitting on, well, threes. Followed by fours. Hmm. Five up armor. And a six up parry. Oh, make one. So two go down. Not enough to rank you. Not yet. Again, I'm putting four attacks in your big boss. Hit him on fours. Wounding him on fives. Whoo! Getting two wounds on him. Five up. No, okay. He's, he's dead, but he's only worth one. And now seven attacks back into the unit. Okay. Uh, forced to hit. And forced to wound. We only have two wounds on them. They have two six-up saves on the unit. Two more go down. Moving those guys over. I'm going to have five attacks with my hex rays. Forced to hit. And uh, threes to wound because I am netted. So three dead. And then I'll have five attacks with the... Actually, no, I'm only going to have four attacks with the mounts. Nope, no hits. So for combat resolution, I have three ranks. I've got six wounds. Six wounds, a flank, and a banner. You have two. And two ranks. And a banner. So I do win by six. You're not stubborn anymore because I have... Well, you lose the banner and... They're running. I will chase with, oh, the hex rays will chase. So I automatically catch your banner. 
you're rolling a seven, and they are gonna get you with an eight. All right, folks, last turn of the game. Um, this is this whole mess is taking a long time. Animosity. So we have an animosity over here. They're good. They're acting normally. That's actually it for animosity. So we have a compulsory move over here. Let's see what happens to this boy. He is going. Okay, he's eight inches further towards the edge of the board. Eight inches is gonna take him pretty close, but not quite there. We're many moves. We're gonna swift reform. Yeah, they're good. So a swift reform, and then a four-inch move. So a swift reform there, and then any up like that actually. Okay, so we have uh, magic to do now. Okay, getting a four, you get two channels. Nope, <laughs> same roll actually. I have one channel. Nope. So then you'll get your one store die for five. Two. Oh, two store die for five, and I'll have three. Or right. for six, I'll yeah. have three. What are those? You're gonna have two dice what? Where's I'm two dice, where's Ag's Revenge? Okay. Goes off? Because you need a, only an eight, right? Yep. I'm gonna try and stop this. I do, <laughs> barely. You got four dice left, Kenny, what are you gonna do? Oh, hmm? I, I think I'm gonna have to go for a foot. A uh, big foot or a little foot? Four dice. Hmm, it's under average uh, to do the big one. Big foot. Big foot! Don't oh, you get it with a miscast? <laughs> I got no dice to stop it either. And that's the miscast, just rolling a seven. So watch just uh, every model in base contact takes a strength six hit. Wounds three on a two. Okay, so you have a five up paint save on the one guy that took a wound. Yeah, there you go, war paint stops the magical feedback. So putting it in kind of in the middle of these two ranks here. Can't really see that. Ooh, there. So we'll be hitting four ranks. Uh, wanks. Four <laughs> ranks. <laughs> You're gonna scatter that. And then we have to scatter it. So D6 inches. Direct hit. All right, it's hitting them. I'm gonna look out, sir, off the vampire. It doesn't hit the vampire. Gonna be hitting 20 skeletons, killing them on twos. Yeah, how many how many ones are in there? Enough. Six. Seven. Seven. So that's only killing 13 skeletons. So it's gonna be five, 10, 13. And now it's the big version, so we have to roll a die and see what happens to this foot of Gork. I can't remember the chart. I think a four up is good for you. One is bad. No, it's five and six. Oh, five and six is good? Or, no, it is four to six. Ooh. You're absolutely correct. Right. We're gonna place that template again, this way, the, this way. So it's gonna be hitting literally everything, uh, but it scatters first. Please. <laughs> Okay, looking, look out, sir, off of the vampire. No! <laughs> okay, so the vampire's taking it, wounding the vampire on three. Never mind. No. Okay, vampire's T5. And then a ton of. So yeah, it's and a two. 16. Yeah. 16, killing them on twos. So three, so 13 are dead. Oh, would you look at that? Oh my gosh. One more. So I literally just have command left. Oh, just a sec. On a, oh, so let's see on a one. Let's see a one. Let's see a one. Dang. Oh, okay, two to three, he wanders off. He just leaves. So he Fine. shows up, he kills 27 skeletons, he's like, ah, whatever, bye. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. We're done the magic phase. I'm just shooting. Where do you want to start? Right here. My <laughs> uh, yep, over into skeletons. them. Hitting on a four. That's a hit. So wounding on a two, killing one guy. Okay, kills him. Wounding on a two still, killing that guy. Okay. And now strength uh, four, so wounding on a three to kill that guy. No, nope. it gets stuck in him. One more bolt thrower, hitting on a four. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'll randomize that and I'll put it on a unit, wounding it on a two. <laughs> Literally just a vampire left. Okay, all we have left is this stone thrower. Dead center over top of your vampire? Yep, let's see if we get a direct hit here. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, I'd love that. No, it's okay, gone. Okay, 10 is gone, it's, <laughs> woo! I'm probably not that far, probably more like that. Right, so what's gonna happen here now is gonna be the bottom turn six, it's gonna be my turn, and I have <laughs> one charge to declare. You have a Terra Check Yomi, so their leadership six on those normal goblins. <gasps> They're fine. And uh, I guess I'll do a frenzy check on them, my Blood Knights, doesn't really matter. They're holding, they're gonna restrain because I don't think I need them. And that is literally it. Cannot fail. In they go. Magic doesn't really matter. I could try and win a death and make them panic with their immune psychology. I could summon more guys, but I don't need to. This is the final turn of the game. I'm just gonna go into combat over there with those hex rays and see if I can take out your goblins. I double down. Fear check in combat. Oh my gosh! 
Okay, I got five attacks, hitting you on fours. Three hits, wounding you on twos. Two dead goblins. Okay. That's it. Oh, right, yeah, they took a wound earlier from the misfire. And, um, I'm just going to end them there. There's no reason to do anything else. And that's the end of the game. That's literally it. So, that completely turned around. I didn't expect that at all. I figured, so, uh, again, my chariot not getting... It wouldn't matter if it got ethereal anyways, because this unit got absolutely destroyed by that foot of gork. Foot of gork, 16 dead. Foot of gork, 13 dead. <laughs> that, was, that was hot garbage. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have charged the skeletons in and the chariot for the flank, preferably, but it turned out like this. Let's go calculate points and see what it looks like. Guys, the difference is about 150 points. I'm at 1,190 and you're at 1,050. 1,040. Well, 1,040, literally 150 points. That is not enough for a victory of any shape or size. It's not even pure. <laughs> this is a, a sad, why did you show up to this fight? <laughs> literally, uh, Luku, who's been playing for a while, pathetic, why can't you win a game? <laughs> kind, of, kind of thing. Well, Kenny, good job sticking in there. Uh, <laughs> good job not getting... Oh man, it, like vampire counts are a tough matchup for orcs and goblins too. So good job. Uh, they they really act, just destroyed anything I they hit. I lost one savage orc. That's true. You only lost one savage orc. I mean, they're they're a tough unit, right? They're the big ones. They strength four, three attacks each. Strength five, first round of combat, tons of attacks. <laughs> oh, I just couldn't get the setup that I was looking for. And that's it. That's all it came down to. So draw game. Let's go play another. All right. Happy war gaming, everyone. Hey there, War Gamers! Jumping into the vault right now to do a second game of Eighth Edition Fantasy here with Kenny. It's going to be 2,500 points of Dark Elves versus, well, 2,500 points of Warriors of Chaos. Well, that reason being is that Kenny's got 1,250 points in characters. He's got a BSB, Archeon the Everchosen on foot. You got the weird hero for Nurgle. What's his name? Festus. Festus. And then of course you've got your uh, Sorcerer Lord of Zinch on disc. Yeah. Jeff. Yes, yeah, sure. Just Jeff. We have Malekith on this end, and a BSB with a whole bunch of Dark Elves. So it's going to be a Dawn Attack mission we've already deployed. That's what it looks like. Now, if you're not a Vault member, all you have to do is click on the link below to sign yourself up for a 7-day free trial, get access to this game, and all of the other content we have in the Vault, and it won't cost you a cent because you can just cancel right after that first 7 weeks, 7 days.